Coding. Made easy. So what's up everybody and welcome to your next C Sharp Model Game RPG tutorial. And this tutorial we are going to be learning how to load our map. And I said the last tutorial was supposed to be short but it was longer than expected just because of unexpected simple errors. Um, but uh, we will get to that later. Um, I said that we were gonna have like three or four more tutorials, but I'm maybe it'll be a bit long, a bit more. I just want to split them up into shorter tutorials because the longer tutorials end up getting a bit boring uh, after a while. So I'll try and make the, the these tutorials as short as possible, and hopefully you'll you'll um, grasp it a lot better. So uh, what we want to do is we want to go to our designer. Um, and we want to double click load map so we actually want to load it now and so we have something called the open file dialog and we'll say uh, we'll use the same thing and we can say OFD filter just like we have uh, above here so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna copy this filter paste it in there and we're going to set the title to load map and when we load our map we actually want to load in the maps content so this is how we're going to do it we are going to go to the map class or sorry the editor class and uh, we'll just make uh, we'll make a set method for this as well so we'll say map equals to value and uh, what we'll do is we'll go back to form1.cs and we'll say if ofd.show dialog equals and we'll do the exact same thing. So once they select a file and they click OK, we need to know what to do with this file. And so we're going to make a call to XML Serializer, but we have to um, uh, include the namespace, sorry, and we need to include system IO. So, what we're going to do is we're going to say XML serializer and we're going to make a serializer instance. And we need to, um, we need to get the type. So, we'll say, uh, editor map.get type. So, we are going to say XML or we're going to say editor one dot map is equal to XML dot deserialize and we want to deserialize the writer but first of all sorry we should be doing this in a using statement so we're going to we're going to say stream reader did I say writer before I think I meant reader I think I said writer but I meant reader and we're going to be passing in OFD the open file dialogs file name and it's going to be saying editor one dot map dot uh, is equal to XML deserialize and we're going to deserialize the reader and that's going to deserialize the uh oh yeah and I got to cast it sorry so we'll make it a map type and uh, so uh, you might be thinking, okay, this is enough. That's fine. Um, but what's happening is not we're not going to see any changes to our code because when we actually load in our map, um, when we load in our, our layer and stuff, we convert our layer stuff to our tile map, uh, um, to our tile map, a vector of tile maps or vector tiles or whatever. So what we have to do is we're going to have to, where's our initialize? We're going to have to initialize this all over again so that it converts everything and so everything is the same. So how are we going to go about this? Well, we'll just make a call to initialize. So where's formal.cs? Editor1.map.initialize. And we've got to send it a, a content manager, which we do not have at the moment. So what we're gonna do is we will um, we will get the editor's content manager. Sorry. So we'll say public content manager get return content. 
And so we're gonna go back to our form right here. We'll say editor one dot content and voila. So that should initialize our map and everything should run smoothly, hopefully. And uh, we've got an error. So it's saying object reference not set to an object. And so the tile display again, um, every single time I think it rebuilds, if we go back to our designer, if we view the code. Yeah, for some reason it keeps on changing to the default constructor and that's why I didn't have it in the first place. So I'm not sure if you're going to have to keep doing this. I'll see if I have a fix for it. Um, but for now, we'll just put that in there again. And so we're just going to make a call to load map and we're going to load map to and voila, our map to is loaded in. So now you can edit you can save this you can save it or if you're if you don't like it you can just reload the old map and voila we got loading and saving in our program so I'm going to try and see a fix I haven't I'm not the greatest with C sharp and win forms so if you know the fix for it then just let me know um, and I will try and search for one and if I can't find one then I uh, will just keep on doing this uh, It's not too much of a hassle, but that's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment and subscribe um, Also, if you check in the description, I have my Facebook in there my Twitter So don't forget to like me on Facebook uh, Follow me on Twitter and I also have my BBM pin in case any of you guys decided to try out the BBM app on your phone So that's it. Thanks for watching and bye for now